initially got acquainted with Connect Alaska through the uh, statewide broadband task force. And uh, through that, we learned that maybe we had some commonalities with some of the things that we were doing. Both Steve Nelson, our project coordinator, and I work with the Consortium for Digital Learning. We came up with a plan uh, where we would have different sites that we would go to. We chose two this year. We've got uh, about four, four remaining where we could kind of pilot and test out some ideas. And those, those ideas were around connectivity, one, and figuring out how the communities were using their internet, what limitations they had, what barriers there were, what options were available to them. But also then we wanted to educate them on things that they could be doing now with the internet that they had. We worked with two sites, Chivak, which is out in western Alaska, and uh, Matlakatla, which is in southeast Alaska. We had a, what we called a sponsoring teacher, and we worked through the schools. The workshops in Metlakatla uh, built over time, and the interest uh, kind of spread at, over time. Well, when at first, I was like, Digitalized Alaska, what is that? Um, but then I came, and it was really, I left so jazzed. I was like, I could do so much with this. Totally amazing. It's, it made the world so small. That in itself is scary. And I think there's a strong interest in uh, authoring, uh, another strong interest in the artisan community, and then then really uh, within that, uh, moving into that e-commerce side of things. What I want to get out of it is be able to create a website, which is I'm working on it with a little help from our friends here, and uh, I want to get back into a tour business. You know, I want to set up a fish camp, and I need to spread the word on what I'm trying to offer to the public. See, on the research side, I think we got some good information about the capacity of, of the broadband here within the villages both Chivac and in uh, Matlakatla. We've got a pretty good sample size and th those surveys were done throughout the community, not just in our workshops. So what I've heard is that uh, people really appreciate people coming, coming to try to help them and not tell them what to do, but to help them do what they want to do. And the other thing I think that, that I've heard that they're very appreciative is uh, that ongoing relationship. It was a good injection of energy for our community. They really took it seriously because they, they are hungry for broadband.